woke up this morning in a world where Tom Cruise was still primarily, not exclusively, but primarily set up shop over at Paramount. And, and it, listen, I love Paramount. I, I, and I think Paramount's done some really good things in the last couple of years. I think they have. But everybody in the movie industry knows that Paramount's had some troubles. There, uh, there's been a lot of stories about them maybe either being sold off or breaking up into pieces or whatever. What will or will not happen, we'll have to wait and see. But undisputably, the crown jewel over at Paramount is their relationship with Tom Cruise. You know, making one of the biggest box office hits in the last number of years with Top Gun and other projects. Well, we woke up in a world where Tom Cruise was living over at Paramount. But not anymore. This comes to us from the folks over at The Hollywood Reporter who write the following. Tom Cruise is setting up shop on the Warner Brothers lot in a new strategic partnership that Warner Brothers Discovery Chief David Zaslav helped to shepherd. Cruise will uh, will team with the movie studio chiefs Michael DeLuca and Pamela Abdi in jointly developing and producing original and franchise theatrical films starring the world-famous actor. Cruise and his production company will have offices on the Warner Brothers lot in Burbank. Now, a couple of things that need to be pointed out here to be clear. Hollywood is not like the NFL, where if you're, I don't know, uh, McCaffrey, you sign on with the San Francisco 49ers, you can only play for the San Francisco 49ers while you're under contract like that. It's not like that in Hollywood unless you're an employee of the studio, which actors and directors and producers are not. So what's happening here is that Tom Cruise will still be able to make movies with other studios under cer certain circumstances and at certain times. But his home base is going to be Warner Brothers. He's going to set up shop there. They're probably going to have some kind of a first look deal, not a traditional first look deal, but uh, some kind of a first look deal where they will build and develop movies and projects and franchises and things like that together. Uh, now, for example, though, you're still going to see him do a Paramount film with the next Mission Impossible. So it's not exclusive. It's like an open dating relationship. You can see other people if you want. But his primary girlfriend is going to be Warner Brothers Discovery. That's his new main squeeze. David Zaslav and Tom Cruise apparently like this now. And Just you know, swinging it, axes. It, what's that? <laughs> Just swinging axes. Just two dudes swinging axes. Just two dudes swinging their axes. Just joyously going around swinging their the axes. axes. in like a, a fishbowl, you know, seeing what happens. Yeah, yeah. maybe something axes. crazy could happen. But <laughs> the question then becomes, you know, what brings this about? It, it could be several different things. You know, understandably, I think a lot of people's first reaction is going to be, this is Tom Cruise abandoning ship on Paramount, right? I, you see that narrative out there a lot. That Tom Cruise and others see the writing on the wall at Paramount, writing there may or may not be there, <clears throat> and has decided to jump ship. And David Zaslav was there with the best offer and said, hey, come on over to Warner Bros. Maybe. That could be it. There are a couple of other options, though. Um, number one. David Zaslav and Warner Brothers may have just gone over and backed up a dump truck full of Spanish gold and said, look, Tom, we want you at Warner Brothers. We will guarantee you X amount of budget per project. We will guarantee you that we put up this much money and resources in marketing any of your films. We guarantee you, because you know Tom Cruise is big on theatrical, we guarantee you that when we make one of your movies, we will keep it in theaters for three months or give it a theatrical window of three months instead of two or one and a half, whatever. Look, there's a lot of different possibilities here. Some people have even started to speculate, well, maybe this is a precursor, if you will, to Warner Brothers taking over Paramount. And David Zaslav just saying to Tom Cruise, listen, we're, we're going to be taking over Paramount at some point, so you might as well just sign the new deal with us just to get things going. I, I mean, again... Which one of the, those three are the actual truth? Nobody knows for sure except David Zaslav, Tom Cruise, and the folks over at Paramount. But we do know that Cruise is about to set up shop over Warner Brothers, and this is kind of a major move. It's very reminiscent, Chris, of when like Christopher Nolan decided to set up shop over at Universal. Yeah. Um, guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of this video, 
Mint Mobile. On average, it takes about 30 days for a person to break their New Year's resolution. So if saving money was on your 2024 list, your odds aren't looking that great. Luckily, I have a 100% guaranteed way to save you money this year. Just switch to Mint Mobile. For a limited time, wireless plans from Mint Mobile are $15 a month when you purchase a three-month plan. That's unlimited talk, text, and data for $15 a month. I've told you guys many times that after switching to Mint Mobile, I am spending less than a third on my cell bill than I used to with a major carrier. Say goodbye to your overpriced wireless plans, jaw-dropping monthly bills, and unexpected overages. All Mint plans come with unlimited talk and text, plus high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. And don't worry about having to change phones or numbers. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and bring your phone number along with all your existing contacts. So guys, to get this new customer offer and your new three-month unlimited wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month, go to mintmobile.com slash cam. That's mintmobile.com slash campia. Cut your wireless bills to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash campia. Additional taxes, fees, and restrictions apply. See Mint Mobile for details. Anyway, you heard about this news. Surprise, not surprised. What do you think is behind it? What do you think? No, I wasn't surprised at all. My first thought was, you know, we were talking last week about who could potentially buy Paramount. Mm -hmm. And this kind of lines up with what we were talking about of Zaslav making the rounds here, trying to get that one added to his kind of infinity gauntlet of IP and other things that he's been collecting. Because one of the things we keep talking about here too is we've seen Zaslav destroy a lot and disperse, right? We've seen shows cut, we've seen IP removed, we've seen things sold off to other people. And we're now entering, hopefully, the phase of Zaslav, really building Warner Brothers up into something really excellent, especially after we've got all that kind of momentum from Barbie and the studio doing quite well, right? It's a little bit of a down year for Disney. Warner Brothers is doing quite well. This is a good time for them to start accumulating things and doing original content. And that's one of the things that is great to see Tom Cruise gravitating towards, too. Mm. We're so, he's so intrinsically tied to iconic IP, right? Top Gun to the Mission Impossible franchise yeah. and everything. We tried to have the, the you know, monster verse. <laughs> we tried. <laughs> tried to have um, us reach your franchise. We tried to have a Jack Reacher <laughs> franchise. But it'd be really great to see him do something completely new and different because when he has gone off the beaten path, that's when we've gotten some really interesting and exciting roles from Cruz. I think we often forget that he is a fabulous actor. Yeah. He is a very, very gifted action star, He's right? He's an Oscar nominated He's an actor Oscar nominated well. actor. Yeah. He's phenomenal. So if he can do something really cool, really original, and then WB can mine the shit out of it, why not? Why wouldn't you want him added to your roster? But I think it is because we're going to kind of see that sale come to fruition. It's also, I think, from a... Look, I'm one of the lone voices in the wilderness that has said, hey, you know what? It's there. It's unpopular moves. David Zaslav's doing the things he needs to do to ensure Warner Brothers' long-term health. But... I think this is a very important kind of PR win for him uh, in, in a landscape that he's not had a lot of PR wins. Uh, I, again, I personally think he's done a lot of the right things, but he's also either number one, sometimes in doing those right things, he hasn't presented it the best way. Um, I, and I think it's fair to say, even as somebody who appreciates the navigate the way he's navigated with this company, he needs a PR win. I think being able to go out and say, I just landed Tom Cruise. I think that's uh, I think that's a pretty important thing for them to do. Now, you one could make the argument if I want to bring this into a sports analogy. Oh no, no. <laughs> like it's like okay, great, you signed Tom Cruise, great. But you didn't sign Tom Cruise at forty-one years old. You signed Tom Cruise in his sixties. How many more big franchises does he have left? And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying he doesn't. I'm just saying you could bring up that argument and say, okay, you landed Tom Cruise, but you landed Tom Cruise on the back part of the back part of, of his career at this point. How many more of these mega franchises does he have left in him? I don't know. Well, we'll have, that isn't Mission Impossible, which doesn't go over to Warner Brothers. Yeah. Unless, of course, Warner Brothers buys Paramount. But when he makes new, if he makes any more Mission Impossible movies, he's got to do them with, with Paramount. It's going to be Mission Implausible. <laughs> Mission Implausible. <laughs> so... <clears throat> We'll kind of see. Still a very, very big move. Very interesting move. We'll see how this kind of works out. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campia Show Podcast, available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.